Hi everybody, this is Dee. I hope you're doing well today, um, Friday, March the 3rd. And uh, I do have a another message to deliver. And um, I just wanted to basically just say um, I was having a little bit of a hard time. Um, uh, this morning I was wake, I, I woke up to the Holy Spirit uh, showing me tears. And it's not the first time, so... Um, um, I've been in prayer about that. I don't know if it's a family member um, or something that's going to happen around where I live or something else, um, but I have been praying about it. And uh, there's certain spiritual uh, warfare prayers uh, that I have received from Janet, who is um, Servant for His Glory 44. And uh, so I pray these particular ones. She puts them together. So I have prayed this one in particular just to be um, asked to be forgiven for anything that I might have said or done or had in my mind or anything because we are supposed to always um, have a very clear conscience with the Lord. And so I just wanted to be up front with that, just come forward with it. And um, I know I had prayed for something and I didn't, I didn't get a yes. And I know it, it was a little bit bothersome to me. And um, still I ask for prayers for certain ones and nothing seems to be happening. So there's, there's just a few things going on in my life around, you know, around uh, what's going on with uh, with me. So I just, um, you know, I want to get this message delivered to all of you because that's my job. So regardless of how I feel, I say, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. And help me, Lord, um, deliver this message to everyone that you want to hear. And I pray that they be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. So it's a message I got in my email from Ginger Barber. And the title is Remain Steadfast. So it's a particular message. It really, really resonated um, with my heart. It really, really resonated um, with my heart. And the Lord is, is giving us a message saying, Remain steadfast, grounded in my word, immovable. So these are like, it's not a suggestion. He's telling us what he wants us to do. Be unshakable, determined, period. Know that I have placed you where you are for such a time as this. It's a reminder because I know I've had messages in the past like this. So it's a reminder because some of us can get so easily sidetracked or depressed or whatever it is, discouraged feeling sad about their loved ones not having, you know, made it yet to uh, over to um, the Lord, um, meaning that they haven't gotten their salvation or whatever. There's a lot of different reasons we, we can get sad, so we have to shake it. Uh, he's wanting us to be determined ourselves, okay? He says it's not meant to be easy. If you didn't, if you didn't have to fight against the enemy, you wouldn't know that you are in the middle of, of my will, saith the Lord. Um, let the storm rage and experience my peace through it. I am fighting this battle for you. I will make a way. Press into me. Cast all your cares on me. For I care for you. Be ye not afraid. Neither be ye dismayed. So he's known that we are and it bothers him so that's just probably another reason why i got tears from the holy spirit anyway for i will go with you whithersoever you go i will never leave you or forsake you i am walking this path that i have placed you on right beside you lean on me when you are weak i will strengthen you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand saith the lord i have not abandoned you I know your heart. I have heard your prayers. I see you. I know what you are going through. Be a light. Shine in the darkness. Don't be concerned if you are the only one. So that kind of resonated with me uh, very much. So I got uh, just really sad when I read this message. I knew I had to read it. Stand firm. If ye remain in me, I will remain in you. I am not a man that I should lie, saith the Lord. Hold fast to the promise that I have made you, for it soon shall be fulfilled. 
I have proclaimed it unto you. You have listened, you have believed, yea, and you are awaiting expectantly, even now, for it to pass, saith the Lord. Yes, we are, we're waiting. Awake, shake off the spirit of fear and anxiety, of worry and defeat. Rest in me. Reach forward unto your destiny, your high calling. For I am calling you to even greater things than you can imagine. And I just got the Holy Spirit all over me. Then you can even fathom. You are mine, dearly beloved. And I am making a way even now for these things to come to pass. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Have faith. Trust in me. Watch and wait. Believe and receive, for I am pouring my spirit out unto you in abundance, saith the Lord. And the scripture here is to remember James one twelve, and I'll read it for you. Blessed is the man, woman is always implied, blessed is the man who remains steadfast in me. So that's the message, everybody. So um, take it to the Lord and... Um, and if you could, just um, keep me in your prayers, too, because I've been waiting for an answer on something um, that I'm still waiting to hear. Thank you so much, and have a blessed um, evening, everybody. Thank you for listening.